All right, this video is just to explain where you need to go to get the software to program the ECM or the PCM on a Mazda vehicle. So in order to program the module, you're gonna have to have a pass-through device, which is where I got the Maxi Flash Elite. You have to have a J2534 um, programmer. And you go to this website here, mazdaserviceinfo.com PCM reflashing. You're gonna have to set up account. Their account, they want like um, a email that is less than 20 characters. So most likely you're gonna have to create a new email through Hotmail or AOL. I used AOL and I just created a short email. So they're happy. Now what you gotta do is, <clears throat> if you're doing one VIN, you have a 72 hour um, so a subscription for $50. So once you make this purchase of $50, you have 72 hours access to Mazda programming and for the PCM. And when you um, check out at checkout, they're going to give you a file to download with the software, but you cannot have IDS or IDS equivalent on your computer at the same time. You have to delete that. It won't work if you have IDS through Ford and Mazda software. See, it says right here, the, the subscription includes access to download a software application that you can um, install on a PC. So yeah, you need a, a laptop or a, a desktop. So Mazda's um, software is IDS. So if you use Ford, it's the same, same thing. It says calibration updates are for PCM ECU only medium speed can modules bcm and other modules cannot be flashed using mmp programming and j202534 device they must be programmed using ids you may be able you may be required to access technical service built-ins t tsps when programming a module a service information solution is not included all right so that's just kind of like to get you started in programming your PCM uh, for Mazda. So you can't do BCM. You're not going to be able to do any other modules just for PCM only.